Ukraine you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Solve for the real value of x that satisfies this equation. 2 raised to the power of square root of x equals x. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so given this equation, 2 raised to the power of square root of x equals x, we want to find the real value of x that satisfies this equation. Now, um, using trial and error, we get two possible values for x, which is 4 or 16. Now, this is based on trial and error, but the question is, do we have a solution or algebraic solution for this kind of question? Or how do we prove that the only solution is 4 and 16? Now, to answer this question, of course, we have algebraic approach for this one, and we will use Lambert W function, and also through the use of our friend Wolfram Alpha. Alright, now Lambert W function, if we have this equation, y multiplied by e raised to the power of y equals x, and we take the Lambert W function on both sides, we get that the value of y, which is the exponent of e, we get that y must be equal to w of x, wherein this w is the Lambert w function. Now, how does it work? So, here's some definition of Lambert w function. So, this work, or we have a real value for y only if x, this x right here, this x right over here, must be greater than negative 1 over e or approximately negative 0 0.37 all right now if the value of x must be greater than 0 like this so we have one possible value for y which is the value sub 0 of x here we go and we have two possible values we have w sub 0 and w sub negative 1 if the value of x is between negative 1 over e and 0 so from negative 0 0.37 to 0 up to 0 then we have two possible values for y which is w sub 0 and w sub negative 1 all right so now let's apply this now, what we're going to do is to get this equation, and we need to rewrite this in this form, y times e raised to the power of y equals x. Now, to do that, let's raise both sides to 1 over square root of x. Now, the reason, if we multiply this, we cancel out square root of x and square root of x. So, by the way, this is over 1. So, square root of x over 1 times 1 over square root of x, this is just 1. So the left-hand side of our equation becomes 2, and the right-hand side becomes x raised to the power of 1 over x. Now, what we're going to do is to rearrange some terms a little bit, and then let's take the natural log on both sides. So we have ln of x raised to 1 over square root of x equals ln of 2. Next, let's apply some properties of ln. So we can put this exponent in the front of our natural log. So if we do that, this is the same thing like 1 over square root of x multiplied by ln of x. Now let's rewrite this. Square root of x, this can be written as x raised to the power of 1 half. And then applying some loss of exponent, 1 over x raised to the power of 1 half, this can be written as x raised to negative 1 over 2. Alright. Now at this point, let's use this identity. If we have a or any constant, this can be written as e raised to the power of ln of a. So, x raised to negative 1 half, this can be written as e raised to the power of ln of x raised to negative 1 half. Alright, now, this negative 1 half, the exponent of x, we can put this in the front. So this simplifies 
like this. We have e raised to the negative 1 half times ln of x times ln of x equals ln of 2. We're almost done. So let's rearrange some terms a little bit. Now, don't forget our goal. Our goal is to rewrite this equation in this form, which is y times e raised to the power of y equals x. All right. So we have now... On the exponent of e, we have negative 1 half times ln of x, and we have ln of x. So what we're going to do is to multiply both sides by negative 1 half. So now, we have negative 1 half times ln of x. This serves as y. Multiply by e, raised to the same power, negative 1 half times ln of x equals negative 1 half times ln of 2. Now at this point, let's use the concept of the Lambert W function. Now let's see, if this, if this value is greater than 0 or between negative 1 over e and 0. So, negative 1 half times ln of 2, the approximate value of this is negative 0 0.35, which is between negative 0 0.37 and 0. So therefore, we have two possible values for y, or simply negative 1 half times ln of x, which is w sub 0 and w sub negative 1. So now, let's focus on this equation, and then let's take the Lambert W function on both sides. So let's get w sub k on both sides, where in this k, this k right over here, since we have two possible values, so we have negative 1 and 0. So this k is negative 1 or 0. Now let's continue. So applying Lambert W function on both sides, now the left hand side of our equation becomes negative 1 half times ln of x. And it must be equal to Lambert W function of negative 1 half times ln of 2. Now, of course, we cannot solve this using just a simple calculator. So what we're going to do is to use the Wolfram Alpha. So our friend Wolfram Alpha. So now this k, we replace this with negative 1 and 0 because we have two possible values for this equation. All right. Now the question is, what is the value of w sub negative 1 of negative 1 half times ln of 2. So using our friend Wolfram Alpha, just type in product log parentheses negative 1 comma negative ln of 2 over 2 and hit enter and sure enough we get an answer of negative logarithm of 4 or ln of 4. So this is the value of w sub negative 1 of negative ln of 2 over 2. Alright, now how about the value of w sub 0 of negative 1 half times ln of 2? Now again, using our friend Wolfram Alpha, just type in product log parentheses, we have 0 comma negative ln 2 over 2 close parenthesis and hit enter and we get that the value of w sub 0 of negative ln 2 divided by 2 must be equal to negative ln 2 or logarithm of 2 to the base e. So now, using those values, we can now solve for the value of x. Now, let's focus on these two results. Now, let's focus on the first case. So later on, we will do the second case. Now, on the first case, what we're going to do is to multiply both sides by negative 2. Now, if we do that, we cancel out negative 2 right over here, and we can multiply this by negative 2. We have negative 1, so we have ln of x equals 2 times ln of 4. Now, these two right here, we can put this in the exponent of 4. So if we do that, we get ln of x equals ln of 4 squared. Now, 4 squared, this simplifies to 16. Now, we have natural log on both sides. So we can say that x must be equal to 16. And that is our first value for x. Now, how about the second value for x? So let's use the second case. Now, let's multiply both sides by negative 2 again. 
Now, if we do that, we get ln of x equals 2 times ln of 2. Now, again, this number 2, we can put this in the exponent of 2. So, if we do that, we get ln of x equals ln of 2 raised to the power of 2. And 2 raised to the power of 2, this will give us 4. Now, we can say that x must be equal, also equal, to 4. And that is the second value for x. Therefore, using Lambert W function, we get two possible values for x in this equation. And that is our algebraic approach for this kind of question. So, the only real value for x that satisfies this equation, 2 raised to the power of square root of x equals x, must be x equals 4 or x equals 16. And as always, we are done.